Hi everyone, welcome to Healing Through Art Session 3. This week we're going to be going deeper with Lesson 130, It is Impossible to See Two Worlds. Deep, deep inside of you, the thought of God has of you shines. We will come to that thought, empty of all desire, except the will to know. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, think, I rest in God. Continue to breathe and relax into this thought. So for this exercise, what we've been given to do is this. We're going to paint ourselves as we think God sees us. Now when this idea came in, it like burned through my mind like a wildfire. <laughs> so if it doesn't really matter what you put on the paper just let this thought just like sit in your mind as you wonder and it's just a really wonderful thing to do <clears throat> anyway that's our uh, little project for now so let's do that From workbook lesson 30, God is in everything I see because God is in my mind. The idea for today is the springboard for vision. From this idea will the world open up before you and you will look upon it and see in it what you have never seen before. Nor will what you saw before be even faintly visible to you. Today we are trying to use a new kind of projection. We are not attempting to get rid of what we do not like by seeing it outside. Instead, we are trying to see in the world what is in our minds and what we want to recognize is there. Lesson 31. 
Thus, we are trying to join with what we see, rather than keeping it apart from us. That is the fundamental difference between vision and the way you see. So this next bit's fun. We're going to just look at this picture. And it's a symbol for what we're seeing. So you can have a choice. You see the chalice, which we could call the spirit, or you see the bodies. Recognizing the spirit. You see the flesh or recognize the spirit. There is no compromise between the two. If one is real, the other must be false, for what is real denies its opposite. There is no choice in vision but this one. What you decide in this determines all you see and think is real and hold as true. On this one choice does all your world depend, for here have you established what you are, as flesh or spirit in your own belief. If you choose flesh, you never will escape the body as your own reality, for you have chosen that you want it so. But choose the spirit, and all heaven bends to touch your eyes and bless your holy sight that you may see the world of flesh no more except to heal and comfort and to bless. Workbook Lesson 130 It is impossible to see two worlds. Perception is consistent. What you see reflects your thinking. And your thinking but reflects your choice of what you want to see. Your values are determiners of this. For what you value you must want to see, believing what you see is really there. No one can see a world his mind has not accorded value, and no one can fail to look upon what he believes he wants. Yet who can really hate and love at once? Who can desire what he does not want to have reality, and who can choose to see a world of which he is afraid. Fear must make blind, for this its weapon is. That which you fear to see, you cannot see. Love and perception thus go hand in hand, but fear obscures in darkness what is there. What then can fear project upon the world? What can be seen in the darkness that is real? Truth is eclipsed by fear, and what remains is but imagined. Yet what can be real in blind imaginings of panic born? What would you want that this is shown to you? What would you wish to keep in such a dream? Fear 
has made everything you think you see, all separation, all distinctions, and the multitude of differences you believe make up the world. They are not there. Love's enemy has made them up. Yet love can have no enemy, and so they have no cause, no being, and no consequence. They can be valued, but remain unreal. They can be sought, but they cannot be found. Today, we will not seek for them, nor waste this day in seeking what cannot be found. It is impossible to see two worlds which have no overlap of any kind. Seek for the one, the other disappears, but one remains. They are the range of choice beyond which your decision cannot go. The real and the unreal are all there to choose between and nothing more than these. Today we will attempt no compromise where none is possible. The world you see is proof you have already made a choice as all embracing as its opposite. What we would learn today is more than just the lesson that you cannot see two worlds. It also teaches that the one you see is quite consistent from the point of view from which you see it. It is all a piece because it stems from one emotion and reflects its source in everything you see.